I have seen the Lord goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord goodness, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord goodness, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Good morning, God bless you, and I welcome you. It's Wednesday morning, and by the grace of God, it's the 19th day of June 2024. God has been so good to us. We are blessed. Indeed, we are heirs of the Father and joint heirs with the Son. We are blessed and highly favored in this month of dream come true. We return all the glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning I'm looking at Galatians chapter 4 and verse number 1. The Bible says, Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, even though he be Lord of all. Now, Paul was trying to, you know, uh, do great justice to the subject of the law and grace and faith and the inheritance of the believers. Now, that was what he was trying to really, uh, you know, you know, pass across to his followers and his hearers in his time. Now, when it comes to chapter 4, I begin to address the need for a child to mature into an adult. First, he gave us an introduction by saying that when the baby of the house, you know, the, 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 the person that is, uh, uh, that is the, the true apparent, hallelujah, is, is, the, is the one that should take over from the father, is the one that should uh, inherit, you know, everything that the father has put in place. But the moment that individual is still a child, hallelujah, that fellow cannot take over cannot take charge of anything. Once upon a time, one of my daughter, an inheritance was left to her uh, from, you know, uh, uh, the, the father of her child that passed away. And now she, she, she was showing me that the, the father gave the child a particular amount of money, left a particular amount of money for her. And now, but there was an instruction that the money should be kept in a trust account until the child get to a particular age. Why was that instruction? Because the child doesn't know anything about money. If you give the child that money, maybe the mother can even spend the money. So the man did so well and said, keep this amount in a trust account until my child turns to a particular age. The same thing, when the promise is made, is meant for those that are able to access, those that are able to activate the promise, or they that are able to possess the inheritance of their father by reason of knowledge. A child does not think. A child does not have knowledge. And that was why Paul the Apostle, the other time he was saying, when I was a child, I speak as a child, then I think like a child. Why? Because it's only adults that will think first before talking. But children just talk, then after they have been reprimanded or flogged or disciplined, then they will not think over their actions and everything like that. What is the emphasis this morning? It is time for you to get out of your childish spiritual behavior to mature or grow into an adult. In fact, the other day, the Bible put it this way, that it is only children that milk are meant for. But those that have exercised themselves by the reason of maturity, they are meant to crack bones. So you are hearing my voice that someone did not check on you and you will not come to church. You are still a child. You are hearing my voice that God did not answer your prayer. For that reason, you will stop praying. You are still a child. You are hearing my voice that because you are not married at a particular age and all your mates are getting married, you are discouraged. You are still a child. You are hearing my voice. Other people are getting blessed and yours is not coming. And for that reason, you now get discouraged. You don't want to study. You don't want to go to church anymore. You are still a child. 
you are hearing my voice, the person that went ahead of you, I mean, that came after you is doing better than you. And for that reason, you stop talking to that person. By the reason of envy and jealousy, you are still a child. You are hearing my voice. You are murmuring. You are complaining. You are murmuring. You are complaining. Nine things have been done. Only one that has not been done. You murmur. You told tantrum over one thing that has not been done. Forgetting the nine things that has been done. You are still a child. The Lord sent me to tell you this morning to get up from that stage. It is time for you to mature out of being a child that cry after mommy's milk. After being a child that cry after little things taken from you. You told tantrum. You shout. You scream. And you no, it is time. For you to grow up and to mature into an adult. Very quickly, how then can a man mature from being a child to becoming an adult? Number one, you study the word. Number two, you depend on the Holy Spirit. And number three, you endure. You endure. You endure. One of the hallmark of an adult is endurance. When a child is in pain, the child will cry and scream and roll himself on the floor. But an adult can only just groan a little bit, but they can hold it. Ability to master the pressure of life. Ability to master the challenges of life where it's not showing all over you. Ability to go through things and challenges of life and you are still smiling. Why? Because you believe that God is in control. It is time for you to leave your childish behavior to grow up into maturity in the Lord. Pray the Almighty God, we have everyone that have had me this morning and the Spirit of the Lord will rest upon you and we grow in the way and in the path of the Lord. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. Maranatha.